Hey, Camp Nerd fans, this is Ian here in the camp, and today we're coming back for another tutorial. Uh, I have not put a tutorial out in a couple of days. There's been some work being done around the house and slow internet and stuff like that, so I'm just letting them get all their uh, stuff out of their system so they can leave me alone so I can do these tutorials. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going back into the WMI, the Windows Management Instrumentation. And what that does is you'll be able to get core uh, stats off your computer and you can build some really cool applications and later on I'll show you how to use like circular progress bars and things like that and I'm gonna be uh, building on to the UDS is the ultimate diagnostic suite that I'm doing in WPF and we'll be releasing it out on probably uh, download.com or something like that uh, for people to use if you want to get a lot of different things and stuff like that but what we're going to be doing is today we're starting from the top. We're not going to be doing a lot of uh, concept coding or anything as far as designing. The only thing you're going to use is a text block. Uh, there's different things, but we're going to be getting the user account name and then the name of the laptop and then whether it's the administrator or not. There's several different things that you can do with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get right into it. I already have uh, an application brought up. So it's going to be WPF. And the first thing that you're going to do is you want to go to your references. And you're going to add a reference. And then you're going to come down to your system.management. And you're going to add it and you're going to click OK. All right. And then once you have that, it's going to be added to your references. You're just going to drag a text block over and you're going to name it uh, whatever you want. I name mine TXT Info, and then you're going to erase the text out of it so you would look like this right here. And I moved my form and everything, made it kind of look uh, a little bit more pleasing, like the example you just seen. So now we are up to speed of where we are at. Now, if you go into your main window, you're going to put in using system dot management like so all right now within your uh, initialize component your public main window and uh, you are going to get right under your initialize component and you are going to put in this dot txt info dot text and it's going to be plus or equals because we're going to be generating a new method on this and this is going to be called uh, get accounts and it's going to show an error uh, right up so it's uh, just kind of ignore the underlying part because we'll get to that here in just a second and then you're going to do plus uh, environment dot to get property value uh, no it's gonna be new line hang on we'll get to the property value here in a minute come on new line where are you at there we go new line all right now as you see with this get account we need to create the method so when we create the method we're just going to uh, put in very simple uh, management object searcher and then we're just going to name it s equals new management object searcher and then we're going to close that off now within the uh, <coughs> like the strings the booleans and stuff like that we're going to be pulling the strings but we need to reference what WMI we're going to be pulling all right, and for some of you, it looks like this accounts. If you're trying to fix that, it'll fix itself because we have to do the coding in here and then it'll go away. All right, so what we want to do first is within this, we want to go to the root CIMV2, and then you're going to go outside your quotation marks, you're going to put a comma, and you're going to do another set of quotation marks, and then within that, you are going to put select star from and then it's going to be win32 underscore 
user account. Now, in order to get all of these uh, different values you can pull, and which is, that's why I was thinking uh, property value, we'll get to that here in a second. But to actually pull those values, if you look in the description, there's going to be a link to the MSDN side of the Win32 classes, and this is one of them that you can pull, and you can see the few little different things that you can pull from there, and this is pretty much the same concept to pull from all of the Win32 uh, classes. Alright, so now since we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to put a for each and then this is going to be a uh, management object wmi in s dot get like so and then we're going to use our try catch and then you can just come down here and you can do your uh, catch and it's just going to be that uh, we're not going to be doing anything to the catch so what you want to return is the property value so we're going to return and then this is just going to be what the text block is going to say so it'd be user account name and then you're going to come outside of that and we're going to make it uniform to where it's not all jumbled up and then you can come over and do your plus. Then it's going to be WMI dot get property value. And then we're just going to put quotation marks in there. And we'll come to that here in just a second. Then it's going to be dot to stream like so. And then we're going to close it off. All right. Now, if we come down here under the for each, we're going to return. And then it'll be user account unknown all right so <clears throat> now we have everything completely done here now what we need to do is we need to reference what we are going to pull what property value are we going to pull from this win32 user account class so if you look in your description that link is going to be there and you can go to it and you can see the uh nine different things uh, that you can pick from and it's one two three four five six seven eight nine yes nine and you're gonna look uh, the majority of them string you've got one that's daytime and then one that's boolean so within this get the property value what we are going to do first is we're gonna get the name of the computer and uh, the description of whether it is administrator or not so you're gonna type in caption click start and let it go through and then it finally comes up it gives you the name of the laptop which is I have not changed my laptop this is still standard factory setting <laughs> uh, from where I had redone it the other day and then it says that I am the administrator all right, now let's say we just want to see if it is administrator or not. So we just type in name and then it'll come up and it'll either say administrator or local accounts. As you see, it says administrator. Okay, now if you wanted to change that to here, you could take uh, like that and put user account and then it'll come up user account administrator. All right, now let's say we want the uh, domain, or right, you got description, domain, uh, SID, SID type, and status. So we're just gonna go down the line. The next one is description, and it'll probably come up, say user account unknown, Nope, built-in account for administering the computer, and it is on a domain. All right, now let's say if we want to get the domain. All right, domain. Then it comes up, and it gives you the name of the laptop. All right, now what else is on the list? Uh get the SID I 
and it gives you the SID number, uh, that's the system ID, and then the SID type. And it gives you a value of one. And then we want the status. Start the status and it is degraded so let's go over here and look at the status and see what it actually says uh, under status you can actually go through here under status and do uh, your if uh, statements uh, it says it's got a list of like okay error degraded stuff like that uh, so you, if you wanted to figure out what the degraded is to kind of put some more emphasis in there, then you can. Now, also on the SID type, let me go back to it real quick. Uh, if you go to the SID type, no. Uh, let me back that up. There we go. All right, the SID type and then you start it, it gives you uh, the ID type is one. You can do, go in and actually put this in, but if you look over under your SID type, it's a uint8. And if you uh, look at it, you got SID type user is for number one. Then you got group domain, alias, well-known group, deleted account, uh, invalid unknown and type computer so there's a lot of different things that you can look into that and see as far as uh, what the uh, domain property is all right so now uh, those are all the strings now if we was to do uh, the uh, date time uh, I don't know if it will go on here it should but if we do the install date and click on start so it'll come up unknown because we have not defined the uh, date time and everything so what we'll do is uh, we will actually uh, get into that later on doing the uh, date time and the boolean and all that so uh, if you like this tutorial and you'd like to see more on the WMI and all the classes as I'm building the UDS, the Ultimate Diagnostic Suite, and you would like to see how to do all of these, it's pretty much the same concept of what you're getting now. Uh, you're just going to name, uh, rename the uh, Win32 user account to whatever Win32 class you're using, and then just add this.text.info, and then create your method to put it in, and then environment.newline. Okay, so this is uh, very, very simple to do. This is Ian here in the camp, and I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial. Be sure to read the description. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions hit the like button if you're new to the camp nerd family hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notifications like the video and uh, we will see y'all guys in the next tutorial I have got to run because I've got things to do today and I don't know how much internet I'm gonna have left or when they're gonna cut it off so I'm gonna stop it on this it's a good little good tutorial so this is Ian here in the camp and I'll see y'all guys in the next tutorial until next time keep it nerdy I'm